what's up y'all welcome back so today is break day part two uh we're gonna finish the front we got lines calipers and get them bled and we can move this car finally so let's just jump right into it and get it done i have double and triple checked all these bolts and stuff on these to make sure it's all tight and like good to go um i gotta push these pins in but i'll do that once they're on the car but um yeah we should be good to go with these so let's throw on this caliper and then we will get the line on and go from there. We got new hardware for this as well. So let's get these unwrapped, um, anti-seized up and throw it on. Okay, so along with the other ones, I have been threading them onto the caliper while they're off the car. That way it kind of gets through any of the powder coat that may be in the threading. Um, so, roll this puppy over. Yeah, see how it gets like, well, you probably can't, but it gets stuck. And so you just gotta break it through the powder coat and it's easier to do it when it's off the car, so. Okay, that looks sick. Um, now we need to mount the brake line. So uh, just like last time, I'm gonna mount the line to the caliper first. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to go that way, but I think it's easier for me. So let's do that and uh, we'll get it mounted up. Okay, just like before, we got banjo bolt, crush washer, line, crush washer, and should mount it right in. Boom. All right, got that mounted. Um, I think it's easier for me that way because um, I don't want to cross thread that banjo bolt in there. And so putting it in like that um, without any kinks or bands or tension on it um, is a lot easier. And then I can just run it through um, because the top mounting point where we had the issue with the with those nuts the other day, um, that's gonna mount in straight regardless. So yeah. Also, sorry if some of the shots whew, are blown out today like that right there. Um, the sun is like directly in the garage for some reason today. But let's um, tighten down the rest of this line and uh, we'll hop to the other side. Okay, that's done. Um, I'm gonna hop to the other side and do that real quick. Um, I'm not gonna show you because it's the same thing, uh, but we're almost ready to bleed the brakes. Okay, got the passenger side done. Um, I am gonna jack up the rear one more time. Um, just go back through and double check all of my banjo bolts, all the nuts, all that stuff that I've done the other day, just to make sure before I throw in the brake fluid and uh, get these things bled. Whew. Again, sun. Okay, finished up checking everything in the rear. Um, now, I left the passenger side off because we're gonna bleed the brakes um, by myself. I have a little suction pump. Um, I've looked up online and I think the pattern is passenger rear, driver front, driver rear, passenger front. 
So let's get some fluid in there and uh, try it out. Okay, got fluid in there. So now, um, according to this kit, all I need to do is put some suction on it, crack the bleeder, it'll pull fluid through, and uh, yeah, let's see how this works. <laughs> okay, got the wrench on there, it says pump it 10, 15 times. So, one, two. Okay, now let's crack it and see what happens. Well, here comes fluid. Big ol' air bubbles. Okay, so it's coming through good. Um, I'm going to take a second and do this because it's going to be kind of hard to film it and do this same time. Um, it's already supposed to be a two-person job, I feel like, but um, I'm going to give it a whirl. One eternity later. Okay, just finished one bleed session. Um, I'm gonna take it for a spin around the neighborhood because uh, there wasn't a whole lot of fluid coming through. Um, there was a bunch on the one side where I first started and then it kind of died off. So maybe a little drive um, will push it through the system. Took it for a little spin, and um, the brake pressure was there. Uh, then we got rolling a little bit, and then it went away. So um, they need to be bled again. Uh, we're out of daylight yet again. <laughs> and so um, I'm going to hop into the next day, and then um, we'll get it bled a second time, and we should be good after that. Day two. All right, day two. Let's get it. Um, let's just jack it up, get the brakes bled a second time, and that should be good. All right, just finished the second bleed. Um, it feels tight now, so let's take it for another spin and see if it holds, and um, yeah. All right, it's good now. Um, it's a little soft at the beginning, but um, it's solid. Uh, solid enough for me to be okay with it now. Um, I'm probably gonna bleed him again with someone helping me. Um, I really just wanted to get that stuff, that kit, and suck all the air through and get the fluid through since it was all dry and I replaced all the lines and all that stuff. So, got that done. If I had it to do over again, I would probably get an automatic bleeder. Um, the one I had worked, but it was a little bit of a pain in the ass to kind of pump it and do all that stuff with it and you know there's a lot easier ways to do it <laughs> um so i'm gonna have someone help me they can get in the car push the brake and i can crack the bleeder and do it the easy way and really get it nice and tight and solid um but it's good right now i hope this helped you out if you're doing brakes and whatnot um if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i'll try to answer as best i can we just have a couple more things to button up and we should be able to drive this thing here soon and i'm getting pumped on that <laughs> so um, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Do all the YouTube things down there as well. You know how it goes. Um, see you next time. Bye!